Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, it's a sunny day, but I think it's a hyper-aware day for Leo Reality. The moon, which focuses our emotions, is still focusing yours on your moment-to-moment -moment reality. This is every pixel everywhere that your eye can see. This is your body. This is the moment. This is the finite. This is what Virgos are so good at. And so emotionally, you are very sensitive in your environment. If you find yourself overwhelmed, my advice is to remove yourself from that environment, put yourself in a peaceful setting. Something with swans and ducks and a pond, something just as peaceful, that'll help you out. In the same sense, this is a time to emotionally invest in the lifestyle that you want. And over the weekend, I had talked about it was time to let go of an emotional attachment to an old lifestyle. I hope that happened gracefully. Now let's move into emotionally the lifestyle you do want for the next 24 hours. Now zipping around to the sun. We still are in chapter one of Sun and Virgo and today Saturn is ruling the day which means it's time to make some key decisions. And since it's chapter one, these decisions involve what you want to step away from. Now the topic is self-esteem. Self-esteem, soul capital is what we call it. It is also your ability to be productive. It turns into your ability to draw in abundance. It's your value system. What do you value? What do you don't value? And do you value yourself? So now that Saturn is ruling the day, you'll have the strength or information necessary to say, you know what, I'm not going to have uh, my weight determine my value. I'm not going to have how much money I have in the bank determine how much I value myself. I'm going to not allow these things to affect me anymore. That is the incision in consciousness where you can step away from what's not working with your beliefs and move towards what can. Then lastly, very good news, Your Majesty, Venus. Venus, the epicenter of love and creativity and harmony and balance. It's like the best place I would party. If I could go out in the solar system and party, I would pick Venus. That said, Venus is in Leo. And that is the house of ego for you. That means for the next three weeks, you're going to have this loving, creative energy to decorate your soul, decorate yourself. This is definitely a time to get that hair makeover if you want. This is definitely the time to go out and get a new wardrobe, to get your bling bling on and do that sort of thing. It also is a time you'll find that people are really in awe of your beauty right now because Venus is in your aura of ego. And so you're going to be more attractive than even usual in this next three weeks. Take advantage of it. All right, that's all I have to start the week. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So Hello, Christopher here, your friendly neighborhood astrologer. I want to invite you to take part in a new social networking site we've launched called the Soul Garden Collective. And it's a really groovy place. You can set up a profile, you can blog, you have better access to me, so if you want to ask questions, lots of people, lots of signs, all exchanging information, uploading videos, uploading photos. It's a cool place. So come on down and join us at the Soul Garden Collective. TV.